Hey guys, this is Meredith from ZSMX. Today I'm going to teach you how to customize V18 gaming mouse. For starters, visit our website ezsmx.com, then go to gaming mouse category, scroll down, locate V18, and click more to go to the detail page. Find the download button. After downloading, right click the software and choose run as administrator. Click install. All you have to do now is wait until the installation ends. Click finish. And we'll on the login page, use your email address to sign up for an account and then log into your account. Here we are. Your mouse has been found. Click setting on the top right hand corner. So this is what the software looks like. There are three profiles for you to choose from. You can click the plus icon to create your own profile. You can name it as you like. If you don't need the profile anymore, you can always delete it. Over here, we have mouse function key commands and macro. Mouse function allows you to remap four buttons. The left button is not included. Well, if you click the right button here and then click the middle button over here, then your middle button will work like your right button. See, it's simple as that. You can always click reset to make everything back to normal. Key commands, you can see there are a bunch of useful shortcuts here. Uh, you can assign one shortcut to your one specific button. For example, assign show desktop to the middle button. There you go. Let's try another one. Assign my computer to the forward button. There you go. Okay, the last one is a macro where you can perform a sequence of actions with a one single button press. Okay, uh, first uh, click micro settings. You can see there are three delay modes for you to choose from. Delay is important. We suggest you test this yourself and uh, click new to create a new macro. You can double click it to rename it. Um, click to record when you are ready. Next type out your favorite command and click to stop when you are done. Next thing you do, assign this macro to your favorite button. Uh, play once means if you uh, hit the forward button, it will perform the command once. Well, the second mode is hold, execute, lose, stop. You can customize delay time and how many times the command is repeated. So it works like this. If you hold the forward button, it will repeat the command three times. And uh, once it's done, it will stop whenever you, well, whether you re let go the button or not. Uh, the third one is repeat while pressed. Again, you can delay, you can customize delay time. Uh, it works differently from the second one. If you hold the button, it will stop repeating the command, and uh, unless you release the button, uh, it will never stop repeating. If you don't like the macro you created, you can always go back to macro settings to delete it. Okay, that's pretty much end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, have fun with the product. See you next time.